Hello, welcome to MTPP News. I'm Ken Sherman. And I'm Johnny Jonathan Johnson. And today's top story is, uh... Uh... Hey, Richie, buddy, home slice. You got anything? Buddy, get up. Richard! Oh. Yes, uh, we're here at Inspire Campus, and it is really lively today. Okay. Guess we got nothing. Well, uh... Oh, oh, but breaking news! Uh, a 200% rise in crime has occurred uh, due to the deeds of a lone perpetrator and the trend of cruel and unjust treatment towards the elderly. Oh. 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 Okay. <sighs> That's right, Ken. Some crazed maniac has been going around beating up the members of our greatest generation. Absolutely disgusting. Horrible, horrible, absolutely horrible, Richard. It is truly disgusting to settle the world we live in today. Experts say the state of violent crime against the elderly has risen to a factor of two and has only continued to rise. But what could explain this shocking and rapid increase in violence? Well, you heard it here first, folks. The answer could be Gen Z's cell phone addiction. Yes, that's right. Here's our very own chief of police here to elaborate. Hello, and thank you for being with us today. No problemo. So, how exactly is there a causal relationship between the consumption of social media and the beatings of old people? Well, you see, John, there's been what the kids call a viral trend, spreading on one of those apps that the parents may know as Tic Tac. Interesting. How exactly did this trend start? Well, you see, John, it all started fairly recently when a video uploaded by an unknown user named Richie C for Life posted a weird video. It spread like wildfire and depicted uh, an old woman being harassed by some random guy. Wow, really? Well, thanks for being on with us tonight. Is there any advice you want to give to the parents at home? Um, yeah, so uh, parents really need to know the dangers of consuming the Tic Tac. Kids these days need to learn right from wrong. Well, we thank Police Chief Rogers for being here with us today. It seems that in the last 1 minute and 35 seconds, Crime has risen 400%. We now go back to our reporter on the scene. Richard? It seems due to this lone perpetrator of kicking the elderly, crime has already spiraled out of control. It really is an inhumane place out here. Help! Get back! In other news, it appears that many shameless individuals have taken a profit off of this tragedy by reporting on our story. Yes, and these parasites don't know how to make their, get their own news and are forced to leech off the real news. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to go to break. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm Tony. Tony Rex with Righteous Cops. You ever find yourself dissatisfied with the current models of cars? Just how boring they are. And the prices are extraordinary. Well, have I got a solution for you? Come on down to Rex's Cash. With bottom of the barrel prices and a top of the line support team, we'll help you find the car that's right for you. Me and my team at Rex's Cars are dedicated to serving our community. And remember, if your car reeks, call Rex. Welcome back. Over break, we received an update on the situation, and hopefully, we can fix the issues with the people profiting off this panic. It seems that our little problem will be resolved shortly. We had a nice civil discussion with our friends at PPN, and uh, let's say this will all be over soon. What did I say? Be quiet. Thank you, Richard. In addition to the rise of violent crime, we received news that half of the Chico police force is currently barricaded outside of a local news station that has been accused of kidnapping and holding hostages. Allegedly. 
Let's take a look at the evolving hostage situation on the ground. Richard? It seems that the police have already apprehended one of the suspects and are currently working to breach the barricade. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and we'll be back tomorrow.